Hey there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to our Valentine's Day blog hop online class. I'm very excited to be here live and have it work. We've had some technical difficulties this week. Uh, we are working on it. I just want to give a, a huge apology to YouTubers. Um, normally, I can go live on Facebook and YouTube, but we had um, gremlins in the machine. And we're working really hard, been working all hard to get that that all week to get this fixed um so we are currently i'm currently able to go live on facebook we're still working on the youtube but the replay will be on both facebook and youtube um i will upload it there i promise and hopefully we'll get it fixed this weekend so starting with tuesday's online class we'll be able to be back to normal again and be live in all places just so you know we, we record this live in front of an in-home audience i like to call it so those of you who are here good morning and welcome you can be part of the class ask questions and those of you who are watching the replay can can comment later and um, hopefully I can help you out with your questions later. Thanks for the hearts. We are very excited to be back on here. So I mentioned it's our blog hop. We um, actually, this is also rescheduled due to um, the family emergency I had last weekend, but um, we're very excited to be able to be back with that too. So because it's blog hop, this happens once a month and my, my class is on a Saturday morning instead of on Friday. And what that means is um, my entire team, my stamp it, or not my entire team, my, my stamp it group, a bunch of my stamp it group, not the entire team, um, have created Valentine's Day projects, especially for you to share with you. Um, and so after this video, you are going to want to pop on over to my stampwithtammy.com blog by clip, clicking on the link in this video's description and take the tour. The instructions are there. It's really easy and you're going to love the projects. These girls are so talented. I'm so blessed to have them be part of our, our group and to be able to share all their awesome projects. What we are working on today is going to be a set. This is um, a card and heart, uh, lollipop Valentine's Day set that you're really going to love made with the uh, meant to be bundle. And I'm going to pop right in and tell you about our giveaway. So being live, uh, I always have some live giveaways. Now, because this is blog hop day, there are two different giveaways. So I have a live giveaway that I'm going to give away live at the end of this video in case you are um, in case you are watching live and have left a comment. Just leave a comment to enter. And if you share the broadcast onto Facebook or social media and type the word shared, even if you're watching the replay, type, type the word share or shared into the um, comments. I will enter you a second time. Um, into the oh my gosh I'm you know what I'm I'm getting ahead of myself I don't have an afterlife because our afterlife drawing today is actually the blog hop giveaway so the team has a giveaway when we do blog hop and so that entry is going to be I said we had two different giveaways there's going to be the live giveaway and then um, there is the the blog hop giveaway so this one is good for any time between now and our next blog hop but the entry to the blog hop giveaway, which is for this amazing note of kindness kit, is to leave a comment on my blog with the hashtag stamp it contest. So hashtag stamp it contest, all one word. So there's two giveaways, two ways to enter. Um, so you want to pop on over to my blog for that. And um, not just for the giveaway, to see the tour. And you can enter this giveaway multiple times by leaving a comment on every single um, project blog on this tour so we're excited to be able to share that with you on on blog blog hop day so it's valentine's day is our theme all right and you know we're all getting in the spirit of love and <laughs> thank you for sharing everybody thank you for for popping on board i know I, I i had a couple of tests this week um and i apologize for the inconvenience because I, I, sometimes i know you get a bunch of notifications she's live she's live but i just i tried to make it a, a big note that we were testing to see if we could get this back up and working again so thank you all for help for helping those of you that were able to help with that i appreciate it thank you for all the love i see a lot of comments in there thank you for the love and our loss of hazel i i don't want i don't want to cry so but yeah that's why we did have to postpone last week so we're gonna keep on because this is happy and this is fun so we are going to make some really cool projects today before we get into our valentine's day st uh stamping Let's talk about what's happening in Stamping World because we have some amazing things happening and some things just happened uh, yesterday was February 1st. Today's February 2nd, so happy Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog didn't see a shadow, but Puxatani Phil, he didn't see a shadow this morning, so I guess we're going to have an early spring, so that's exciting. Um, and uh, it's February 2nd, which means yesterday some specials were announced. So as 
Uh, this was a, beginning a month ago. The, the Occasions catalog was released. Brand new products for spring, some awesome uh, Valentine's Day, Easter, and just spring and beautiful, beautiful products. Fun to play with. And Celebration is here. And Celebration is the most wonderful time of the year, right? When there's free stamps and free products. And we love free, right? So you can get three, actually there's there's more than three, but we're going to talk about the, the three main ways that you can celebrate today. Uh, real quickly for a recap, in case you're new or have been under a rock and have <laughs> missed this because you don't want to miss it. The first way to celebrate is just by shopping in my online store. For every $50 you spend there, you get a free product. You get to pick something, anything you want. And when you, um, anything like the products I'm showing today, everything's available there. They're all eligible for a free stamp. And uh, stamp and rewards when you have either combined orders, large orders, workshops, anything over 150, you get free, free products any time of the year. They're called stamp and rewards. If it reaches 250, you get a bonus 250 in addition to your normal stamp and rewards. So that's a, an additional stamp and rewards. Now, if this was all your order, you would get celebration products for every $50. You would get your stamp and rewards for being over $150 and then a bonus $25 free. Wait, right? wow, right? But it gets better uh, if you join to be a demonstrator. And mind you, demonstrators also get this and we get a demo discount and we can pre order new products. Gonna tell you about that in a minute. If you join to be a demonstrator, this is the best deal. The kit right now, you get $76 free. Oh my gosh, right? Crazy, crazy. So the kit's $99. There's free shipping. You pick anything you want, anything except the, the free celebration products, but you can pick anything you want in the, the two big catalogs for your kit. You, you pay $99 and you get to pick $175. Now there's two options. The first option is just that basic one. Um, and there's free shipping on the kit. And then the second option is, um, and I'm, I've got a little tiny little image here, is you can choose to get the add-on for the tote, which is amazing. And this is the only way you can get the tote now. Demonstrators were able to purchase it up until now, but this is the only way that you can get it right now. And it is amazing. I, if it's a big shop bag, it's a great weekend bag. This tote is just amazing. So um, that is the celebration that's happening right now, the three main ways that you can celebrate. And um, I wanted to give you a quick, and I'm going to pop over to my blog right now and show you this. There is two, and these are pre-orders. So if you join to be a demonstrator, if you're already a demonstrator, you are eligible for this. Customers coming soon. Um, there are two big things, and this is uh, the blog at stampwithtammy.com. There's a link in the video's description no matter where you're watching live or replay, um, Facebook or YouTube or Pinterest after the replay. Um, you can see them right here. It's called uh, under my specials on the main page or on the sidebar under recent posts. It's called Ce Celebration Second Release. This is big news. New products are coming February 15th. So um, this is pretty exciting and, and you can get a sneak peek of them here. If you're a demonstrator, you can actually buy these right now and get Celebration, earn Celebration products on them and get, um, and get a demonstrator discount. So win, 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 right? All, all cool. Uh, customers can start earning these on February 15th to March 31st while they last. And I've got some samples here using, I've got, you can see a sneak peek and you've got some, see some samples here using um, the new celebration products, the second release. So if you've got everything in there, and I know some of you do have everything in that, um, that big, it, the, the, the celebration catalog. Now there's more stuff, more cool stuff. And then um, heading back into uh, the second thing that was announced that's a pre-order right now, and that is, and, and the name here is confusing because they called it Celebration Coordination, but this is actually not, they're not free Celebration products, they're actually for purchase. Demonstrators can start purchasing them now. Customers will be able to purchase these in March. They match the Celebration products. They match, so you can purchase products, framelits and stuff to match the Celebration products. And you can get a sneak peek of those on my blog. Um, there's some ideas here showing the, the, you know, the framelits and other things that are on there. So very cool. You can get both these and the new um, second release celebration things. If you purchased a demo kit right now, you can get them in your demo kit. So that's pretty cool too. All right. So I just wanted to give you the heads up on those things that, that were just announced yesterday. And uh, for those of you popping on, it's blog hop day. We're doing Valentine's day. Uh, blog hop. So you want to be sure to check out my um, stamp. Click over to the resource page of my stampatami.com blog after this, and you can check out everybody's all my all of the group members, my stampit group members that participated in the blog hop. They've been crafting especially for this day, especially for this day, and um, they're really excited to share with you. And we have a special giveaway for you there too. And I have live giveaways. The 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 meant to be 
Okay, oops, sorry, here we go. So the meant to be uh, bundle. This is a full bundle that I'm giving away live here today. There's two of them. Uh, all you need to do is leave a comment here on this video. And so I am just gonna pop right in. So this is what we're actually using this bundle today. And if you win it live, you'll get it in time for Valentine's Day. And oh, look, this is what we're making today. <laughs> I love these. I was so excited. I've actually been dying to do these, right? I've had these for, you know, a couple of weeks now. I designed this and I've been really excited to, to do it for you. So this is the card and the, there's a coordinating um, lollipop, which are great for the grands or if you're doing class projects. These are uh, little lollipop treats that match the card, right? So cute. And I'll tell you what, if you win a live today, I will send one of these lollipops. And then when you're done, you have all these cool little pieces that you can make another project out of. So we'll do maybe another project for another day. All right. So let's get started with the stamp. Who's ready to stamp? I am so ready to stamp. I have been needing some stamp therapy now for a couple of days. And I really I, I love doing it with you guys because I, when we craft together, right, it's like a little therapeutic outlet for me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that it really helps me a lot. And it has been a very hard week. All right. So let's get started. I'm actually going to make these together. Sometimes I'll make projects one at a time, but because these are very similar, we're actually going to make them together. I'm going to start with uh, actually the big shot, um, die cutting first, and then we'll do the stamping. Sometimes I like to do stamping first normally, but on this particular project, the big shot work is I think easier to do first. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell you about the free PDF. <laughs> this free PDF is every class online class that I have. I make these for you to help you. It has the measurements of the projects that I have on here. It has all of the supplies. Oh, it even, it even has a little bonus on it. Yours may not have that bonus on it. It might. It depends on if you're crafting along uh, with us. It has the su full supply list of everything that I'm using today and a spot for notes. And um, if you know how to use a QR code, you can zap that and it will bring you right back to this video that we're making right now. And you can rewatch it if you need to rewatch to catch a couple of things if you're, if you're following along later. Um, and it also has the URL here. If you don't know how to use the QR code or don't have the, the phone handy to zap it, you can just type in this URL and also will bring you back to the three play video on my blog. It'll bring you back to all this information, close up pictures, resource page and the blog hop. So that is a free PDF. Be sure to download that and save that for your collection. Have them for all my videos. I like to make things easy for you guys. All right. Popping in. Thank you, Sheila. That was very sweet. She said, you're such a giving person. You know what? Back at you guys. This is, you know, I love doing this and I love, I love being able to come on here it, it, on a top of it being a very difficult week. It was very frustrating because we, when we did the stamping scoop, we ended up having some major technical difficulties that I'm still trying to fix. So all week we've been, instead of stamping, I've been working on trying to get us back up so that we can come back on here live so that I can stamp. I've been dying to do this. So I'm very excited to be here in multiple ways. I have got a full sheet here of, um, this is lovely lipstick cardstock and, um, it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm just going to cut on the long side and, 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 and you can, it doesn't have to be exact here, but I, I think I found it so that you can get three on a sheet. If you, if you slice up like a, just about three and three quarters, and we're going to do the lollipop first with that. So we got our big shot, big shot die cut machine. And we need two cutting pads here. I've got the magnetic platform down here, but you could also use the, the platform that comes with it and um, the thin die adapter for this part. Okay, so I'm doing this off screen. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I'm folding this in half. So I'm gonna have a bone folder or you can score it in half. This is going to be for our lollipop. A little cool little trick here. So we're gonna go ahead and take our dies. And if you're popping on late, we are using the meant to be bundle. This is a stamp set and the Be Mine stitched framelit dies. And I'm also giving two of these full sets away, the full set dies and stamp set. So that's, that's huge. <laughs> All right, so let me just pick out the right heart here. Oh dear, where is the heart? One, two, oh my goodness, don't even tell me that it's upstairs because I will freak out. <sighs> part for the course, right? Okay. I think I'm missing one of my, I think I'm missing the main heart that I need to make this, which is not cool because I need it to make it right. No, I got it. I got it. 
Whew. Oh, that was here. So I'm like, oh my God, please don't tell me I'm missing a piece. Because I usually I craft up. I was crafting in my dining room when I made it originally and then brought it down to the studio. Okay, so this is folded in half. What I've got down here is a little piece of um, lovely lipstick folded in half. So see the two folds here. Now, see the, the, see the, the fold right here, the score line? This is the magic. This is the trick here. And I'm going to zoom in because I need you to see exactly what I'm doing here. I am um, putting the heart so that there's a tiny little space right here at the top, a very tiny little space. And what that's going to do is not cut on the fold right there. That's the magic of making this work for your lollipop so that you can fold it over the lollipop. And then I'm just taking a post-it note because it's, it's my, my pads aren't flat, so it doesn't stick to the magnetic platform as awesome as it should be sticking. But it keeps that in spot in place. Okay, thank you, Charlotte says we we would have waited for you to go get it <laughs> if I forgot if I really had forgotten the piece. Okay, so cutting pad on top, we're gonna crank this through. I'm gonna crank it back. Just probably don't need to do that, but and so taking off our little sticky note here. So that's gonna pop it out, and because we left that little space at the top we have our hearts attached, right? So that's the key. Make sure you got to leave a tiny little space on the fold to make that work. All right. So I'm going to cut one more heart just straight up on some lovely lipstick. So that was, that's our little fold first. And then I'm just going to take a little scrap of lovely lipstick. In fact, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a layer that we're using on the card. Oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Uh, no, I'm not going to use a layer that we're using on the card because that will show. So, I guess I'm going to cut another little piece off of this. Happen to have a full sheet here, so I do apologize for doing that off screen. Here we go. So, one more heart. This one is this one is not folded. This one is just one sheet of cardstock right on there. Thanks, Jocelyn. All right. So, we're just popping through. Popping back. You don't need to go two ways probably with your machine, but mine's old and I feel like it, it needs that extra oomph. Okay, so we've got one heart for our card. And then if you were making a bunch of these to give to, you know, friends or kids, coworkers, or, you know, the, the school class, I do all the cutting at once and then I do all the, the embossing at once. Um, but if you're just making, uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do, uh, do these now. Do the, just do these two. Okay. So you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the embossing yet because there's two more cuts that we need to make, um, and one is from Flirty Flamingo, which is fun to say, right? Flirty Flamingo, and for that one I am using and it's the the I think this is the middle size scallop tart right there, middle size scallop tart. We need two of those, one for each. Yeah. Two of those, one for each project. <laughs> that's cute elizabeth said she was looking at the 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 lollipops the way they were lined up they look like a banner actually that would be a really cute idea right that would be a really cute idea to make a banner out of these hearts for valentine's day uh if only i thought of that ahead of time okay so here is this is actually an extra piece we're not actually using this piece this is going we'll just use that for another project we want the piece that is inside the framelit right now so I'm just going to use my little take your pick tool and pop that out. And we have this pretty little outline. This is what we're going to use on our card. We need two of those. So you get all this cute little heart confetti that you can use for another project later. It's like a little bonus, right? Or you can just, you know, collect them all. If you're making a bunch, you can just collect all that together and throw it at somebody. I might just do that later. I don't know. I'm feeling sassy today. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. She says, I'm glad we made it on. I'm glad I made it on today, too. Really, it was. there's nothing more frustrating than technical problems, right? Mostly because I, I can't fix them myself. And uh, it just, it, it's so frustrating. You just, you, all I want to do is stamp, right? All I want to do is come on here and stamp. And it's like, why does it have to be so difficult? All right. So here we go. We got two of these. And while we're on here, one more using the same heart, the same one. And this is shimmer white cardstock. So I'm going to hold this up. In fact, I'm going to zoom in. Sorry for you anti-zoomers, but I'm going to do it anyways, because it's really hard to see. 
Oh, it's really hard to see on this. In fact, you know what? It's so hard to see on this one. I think I grabbed the wrong sheet. Dang it. Yeah, okay. So this first one that I was about to show you is actually Whisper White. So this is um, Shimmer White. I don't know if you can see on there. Can you guys see the shimmer on there? It's really hard to see because it's white and it's on the on the camera. But this um, really added some sparkle to the project. I just thought it was a little wow, just a little teeny wow on there that made everything awesome. And lucky for me, I happen to have a sheet there, so I'm just going to cut a little piece off and use that for our scrap. We need to, to cut two of these. Okay, zooming back out now. Sorry for that Zoom, anti-Zoomers. <laughs> I know there's a few of you out there that don't like the Zoom, but sometimes you really need to do it so you can see the detail. All right, so we're going to cut two of these exactly the same way, but this time we're using the inside of the heart for the project. Okay. And this I'm using, in case you're popping on late, this is the... Um, the die set here is Be Mine, and I'm giving two of these away with the coordinating stamp set, and they coordinate with the Meant to Be stamp set. Um, and don't forget, also, if you're on here, um, this is the Blog Hop Day, which means if you pop over to my blog and the link in this video's description, you can take the Blog Hop Tour. You can get a free PDF, and if you leave a comment on my blog and any blog on the um, Blog Hop Tour filled with amazing Valentine's Day projects, you will be entered into our Blog Hop giveaway as well. So two different types of giveaways today. It's a bonus day. <laughs> we love bonus days, right? And they're great giveaways, right? These are big giveaways. Like the full, I'm giving you a full bundle here. And uh, we got a full kit for the, the Blog Hop giveaway. So that's cool. All right. Oh, Benny, thanks for the hugs. I appreciate that. All right, so this time we want the inside. So we're gonna save these. And you know what you could do, which would be really fun? You know how you have the leftover pieces? You could make reverse colors here with the leftover pieces. So if you were making a bunch of these, hold on, I guess I gotta poke a little bit more here. If you were making a bunch of these, you could take the reverse, these two pieces of reverse, right? And use them, oops, sorry, out of view. So, so you use all your pieces, right? They're, they're cute. The reverse is just as cute as the, the one that we're using here. And that way, yeah, you don't have as much left over for a different project. You can use it all for the same project. All right, now I'm switching platforms. For that, we had been using the uh, magnetic platform, and now we are going to switch over. And you could have been using this, this regular Big Shot platform all along with the thin die adapter. Totally up to you, but... Um, now we're going to do some embossing. And for the embossing, I have got here the uh, tufted, tuft, tufted, is that how you say tufted, tufted? It's a dynamic folder, so it's a little it's like 3D, it's a little thicker than a regular one. And we are going to take the hearts and both of the hearts that we just cut here, the, the double heart here, and I found the double heart went on a diagonal, the single one you can put straight up and down. Now, because this is a dynamic folder, there's two different types of folders. There's a regular folder and a dynamic. The dynamics are super thick, so you only need one cutting pad with that. Regular folders, you need two. So just if you see dynamic on the name, it means it only needs one cutting pad. And then when it pops out, you have this really oh, come back to me silly heart you have this really cool pattern i actually got this the the pattern on the heart the tufted folder on the heart idea from um cindy clark do you watch cindy clark she's a stamp it demonstrator i think she's participating in the blog hop today i'm pretty sure she is you, you'll see her on there but she did an amazing video she used the, actually the um lovely lipstick foil and it was flipping amazing i shared it um on my facebook page so i do share a lot of my my stamp it the, the group they, they come up with these amazing videos so I love to share them on there they're just added bonuses that you can get on my Facebook pages seeing some of their projects too all right so we've got the hearts hearts are embossed here all right and all right so that's all the big shot work no it's not oh gosh we got one more cutting I totally forgot about this piece. This piece. <laughs> I 
All right, sorry. I'm going to switch back to the magnetic platform. Sorry, I'm a little... All, I'm not really all over the place. I try not to be. I try to do it organized, but I did forget this piece. So back to the magnetic platform. Okay. And the die set here. See this, this little um, string of hearts? We want to use one of these little hearts for our arrow on the lollipop. Now, if you were doing a bunch of these, you'd probably only need to cut this once because you get a ton of little confetti hearts that you can use. I'm only going to need one today, so I'm going to use the rest to throw out somebody later. <laughs> the rest of my pieces. <laughs> uh, all right. I wouldn't count on this bundle carrying over Charlotte. I, I, I know it's nice when we see some of these, but somehow it, I, I don't usually see that the Valentine's Day stuff. Usually they come out with new stuff every year. But I could be wrong. I actually do not have any. I have no crystal ball on that, so I don't know what's going to carry over and what isn't. Okay, so let's just go a little bit closer here. So um, we only need one of these little hearts, but there's a whole bunch of them here. So you can pop the whole thing out with the thing, but I'm just going to take one out for now. If, again, if you were making a bunch, you would be able to uh, you do that once and have all these little hearts. All right, so next up is our stamping. Let's go find our little pieces. What the heck did I just, did I just, I really did that. Yeah, I really did that. I just threw these away. I'm confessing right now. I, I, I have this thing like when I'm stamping, I have to clean the table as I go. Do any of you do that? Like I have to have a little space that's that's cleared off. And I thought these were the confetti, the, the extra pieces. <laughs> All right, they didn't go far. Here we go. I don't know. I can't be the only one that does that. <laughs> here we go. So we've got some lovely lipstick here. This is the, the ink to match the, the cardstock that we're using. I'm going to stamp Happy Valentine's Day. This is from the Meant to Be stamp set. I'm using the same stamp on both hearts. You could change this, though. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. I just saw um, somebody mention in the anniversary. You could do anniversary, love, birthday. This really doesn't have to be necessarily for Valentine's Day. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do our little spritz mixture because th it's going to take a minute for these to dry before we can um, use our adhesive on them. So in order to do that, I'm just going to take a little piece of paper towel and probably a little bit of um, grid paper just to protect your table underneath. So we've got our hearts. I've got a little paper towel here, and I'm going to take my Stampin' Spritzer. These um, these actually are available in my online store. They come in a pack of three. They're cute little guys. Great for sometimes I store different colors and different spritzers. And I'm using our um, Champagne Shimmer Mist right here. So this is um, there's lots of different uses for this little guy, but. This is my favorite by far. So what you're going to do is uh, take some rubbing alcohol and just pour it right in. That's why I have a paper towel here because I'm messy. Let's see if I can do this on screen without, you know what? I shake sometimes. I get nervous and I shake here just like I do when I do presentations in person. I know it's silly, right? You guys are laughing at me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sometimes I get nervous. So we're just going to shake that up and um, I just pour this right. Yes, this would make great uh, projects, Melinda, for the, the kids' Valentine's Day class. Now I'm just going to pour this right, that over there. just a couple of drops. Just right in there. Not too much because there wasn't too much alcohol in there, so you don't want to overdo. And then we'll just put that cap right back on here and... Thank you, Darcy. She says that grid paper is pretty. Oh, you know what? If I spin it around, this is actually um, Demonstrators um, Stampin' Up has some of these business supplies that are available to us. And this was a special one that just became available. I love it. I love it, right? It's got the pretty flowers on it. Okay. So, here we go. I'm going to put these down here. Now, I, I just put a little paper towel down below, too, so it catches the, you know, any overspray that we got going on. So I shook this up, 
we're going to hold it. Let me make sure I get that in view. We're going to hold it up. Yeah, I'm going to back it out just a hair, just so you can see the whole the whole thing. Hold this way. There we go. We're going to spritz these. Now the alcohol is going to make it dry really fast. So that's going to make it sparkly. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. She's like, no need to be nervous. So I, um, I actually, it's funny where you get in inspiration for things while that's drying. I'll just tell you a cute little story. Um, I actually got the inspiration for this project from these, uh, these chocolates. And I had, bu I had bought this a while ago. I saw it in the CVS and I, was, I, I saw this little fold, which gave me the idea for the, the lollipop fold that we just did. I know it's a weird inspiration, right? And um, I, I had it and I was working with it and I had made these and then Hazel had the, the accident, which uh, it was it was awful this week. But then when I came back in this week to to get the, the, the projects, I pulled this out of the box and I've had this for a little while. And this is what we used to call Hazel was hazelnut <laughs> and it's a fine hazelnut chocolate. So I was like, oh, she's giving us a little sign. She's giving us a little heart. So that was cool. That was sweet. So these are going to take a second, but these, you can see they're already partially dry. So we'll go ahead and, um, although there isn't too, too much else left to do, but we'll get started on the rest of it while we're waiting for that. Um, the lollipops, you want flat lollipops. Don't, the Tootsie Pops are too round and the, the heart doesn't fit around it. Oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Um, and... So I got the Jolly Rancher ones. I got these at CVS, and they're they're pretty flat. But um, any flat lollipop works. Okay. And then this we'll fold it over in a minute, but it's gonna go over like that. And uh, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, so we want let's push that aside for one second. For the arrow on the lollipop, I'm gonna take a little piece of Knight of Navy, just a scrap of Knight of Knight of Navy. And um, I, I just a tiny, tiny little sliver. Again, zooming you in so you can see just how tiny that is. On the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, I'm literally, I think it's probably a sixteenth of an inch that I'm cutting there. Even that's too much. You know what? That's even too thick, I think, for the heart. I'm even going to do it even a hair thinner. There, that's better. I mean, it is just a, a really, really thin piece to make that arrow. Okay. Silly me, I lost our little heart, so I'm going to pop another one out. And I'll back you back up again. Sorry for that. Just wanted you to see how close that was there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Carmen. She says the projects are adorable. All right, so next up, I'm just going to attach that little arrowhead to the um, sliver that we just cut there. I'm just using some mini glue dots. In fact, that one I'm actually going to probably use my take your pick tool to pick it up with because I can't. Well, where the heck did I put that? Oh, jeez. Seriously, I'm losing my head if it wasn't attached. All right, well, let's see if I can get it with my finger since I can't find my, my tool. <laughs> just slide it off the edge of the table. Okay, so I'm just sticking that right to a mini glue dot. Bye, Shannon. Shannon, thank you for the card. I got your card yesterday. That was really beautiful and very sweet. Thank you. Have fun at, at swim practice. And thank you, Susan. She says, your love of stamping shows. Thank you. I do love what I do. I feel like I have the best job in the world. Okay, why did that not... Did I not pick up the glue dot? Did you see that? Like, I went to pick up a glue dot. Okay. This time I got the glue dot. All right, so we're just going to stick that in. And so this is going to be an arrowhead instead of a heart. Well, come back. I really need my take your pick tool. I just had it, too. I was just using it. I can't imagine where I just put it. That never happens to anybody, right? You're just using something and all of a sudden it disappears on the table. So here's our arrow, right? That was quick and easy. And we're almost dry here. We're almost dry. 
I'm going to go ahead and put the card together and then we'll do the lollipop because that one's still a little bit tackier than the dry. But if you were doing a bunch of these, let, just spritz them first, let them sit for a minute and then, then you're good to go. Again, I am using the shimmery white, so we've got a little bit of a sparkle on here. I'm going to take, and these measurements are on that free PDF that are on my blog, some snail adhesive to, actually, before I attach this, let's use some of that really pretty, this is uh, navy gingham ribbon. Loved it, right? So, let me just cut a strip of that off. Okay. I'm just using snail to attach that little ribbon to the back of the card. You could also use mini glue dots if you wanted to. Whatever your favorite adhesive is, this happens to be mine. And we'll just attach that right about there. We'll just tuck the ends under. I know, right? Never fails, right, Nikki? She says, I always lose something right in front of me. Seriously. Seems like the older I get, the more I do it, too. So a little bit of snail on the back of that. And then a little bit of snail on the back of this attaches that to our card base. Okay, so now we've got our card base here. And again, working in here, I would also put a little um, piece of shimmer white or whisper white on the inside. We're just going with the idea today. All right, so the next thing I want to do is a little trick here. These two pieces, I want them attached to this heart before we um, attach them to the card. I just find because this is a floating frame over the heart, they're going to stick better that way if you attach them to the heart first, the big heart first, and then attach them to the card. So in order to do that, I'm going to do one at a time, just put some snail adhesive on the back of just the side just the right side there that's where it's going to attach and then again now again you could use if you have the fine tip glue pen or liquid glue or um, even if you want to use the multi-purpose adhesive sheets I probably didn't need to put that on the whole back in here I just need it on the right side um, any of those adhesives also would work here I'm using snail adhesive okay so that's going to attach to the heart again I just found that was easier to work with and then we're going to flip that over and put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of it. I love paper pumpkin kits, not just because they're awesome and they're 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 my favorite time, thing to get in the mail, but because they always give you extra adhesives. <laughs> and I use so many dimensionals. I like to say I eat these dimensionals. I use so many of them. I just love the pop. Thank you, Melinda. She says she likes the, the pink navy combo. I thought it was it was traditional, but just a little punch. That little navy just brings it a little, a little pow, a pow wow. All right, so that just attaches to our card, like so, and the card is complete. And I hold it up there. You can see the sparkle from the the shimmer spray that I sprayed on there. So quick and easy to make. And then there's a little shimmer on the back of the um, the the white here because it's shimmery white cardstock. So that was an easy way to to add some sparkle. Next, we're going to finish our heart. So um, if, you're, if you're jumping in late, you can um, catch the replay in a second as soon as we're done and see um, how to make this fold for our lollipop. Now, the lollipop wrapper of the Jolly Ranchers that I chose stick out here, right? So the first thing I wanted to do is uh, hide that. Oh, thanks for the heart, you guys. Love you right back. We are going, I'm using sticky strip for this part because I want it to be really, really stuck to this, to the, the topper that we're about to put on the lollipop. Okay. So the first thing I did was I kind of folded this in and attached it to the lollipop with the sticky strip. So the sticky strip is actually going to have a double purpose right now. I'm sorry, this is not sticky strip, it's tear tape. It is a sticky strip. The beautiful thing about tear tape is you can tear it off. You don't need scissors. It makes it really quick and easy. Okay, so this is the hard part for me, especially since I can't find the take your pick tool on the table that I just had, because I have to peel off the protective backing. 
which is really hard to do when you're live. I don't know why. It makes a difference. Maybe I'm not nervous when I'm not live. <laughs> like I am when I'm here. All right. Uh, Elizabeth, yes. Champagne Shimmer Mist. We also have copper and gold in my online store. And there are links. There are direct links to all the supplies that I'm using today if you click on the resource page. Um, the video in this this link. I make it. I try to make it easy for you guys. Oh, I can't get the back of this one off. There's always one, right? Seemed like the other two were, too, were coming off too easy. Oh, stupid take your pick tool. Where are you? I'm going to put a tile on it. You know those little t tracker tiles that I have on my keys? Do you guys, any of you guys have that? I'm going to put that on my, my take your pick tool. It literally just disappeared on the table. I cannot get the backing off of this without it. I'm actually, you know what, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> we'll do a different one. That'll be tape. <laughs> See if I can get it off of this one. There we go. Okay. I'm just leaving the other one on there. Our secret. Nobody needs to know. Okay, so we're just attaching that in there and then a little bit more on the top. <laughs> you got a tile for Christmas? Yeah. Seriously. It's the keys, you know? You put them down, you always lose them. I think you're, you're going to see a tile soon on my take your pick tool. <laughs> All right. So we've got that attached. I also put some mini glue dots right here to attach them right down. Depending on the lollipops you get, you probably, you know, yours might be flatter than mine. Like the Jolly Ranchers were pretty flat, but they, they still had a little bit of pop to them. I hope I didn't throw it away. I'm going to check the trash though. As soon as we're done here, I won't waste your time looking for it, but <laughs> I'll find it later. I will find it. Oh, I will find you. Take your big tool wherever you are. Mwah. That made me an evil laugh after it, didn't it? Okay, so next we're just going to attach. Now, before we attach this, we're going to attach the heart. So I kind of lined that up where I wanted it. And then I'll use some snail. This is just a silicone mat that I'm sticking underneath here. So I've got some snail on the back of that heart. And... That there. A little bit of an angle. You don't have to have it overhang either. You, you can do that however you like. And then this time I'm putting adhesive on the whole thing. Okay. It was on the right side earlier. Yeah. It might still be under something. Funny though, there's a good chance I there is a good chance that I threw it out. Or it's on the floor. Either way, I won't waste your time with it. We are almost ready for the grand finale. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a little tail off of that. And now I would tell you that it's complete, but there really was one more little thing that I I did to this that, that is completely optional that I thought was really cute. So now we have our card and our little um our our heart, our candy heart. These are, they're um, epoxy droplets right here, and they're little hearts. These are in the occasions catalog. They are, oh man, I really need, oh, I found it, I found it. I was going to say, I really need this for, <laughs> to do this one. Um, so what I did was I just kind of lined these little hearts up because I thought they were super cute on, on the heart here, but that's totally optional. So I got the one that kind of fit there. Come on. I can peel it, but I have to use the, the take your pick to steal it, to stick it down. All right. See how it adds a little pop to the end? I just thought that was adorable. So cute. Okay. Am I going to attach the other end of the arrow with a big heart? Uh, if you wanted to do a double-sided arrow, you could. You certainly could, but I I, I don't know. I, I felt like the end needed the little feathers, and I don't know. I just kind of liked it like that. But totally feel free to, to take it up a notch. 
All right, so actually there was one little step that I did at the end here, and I took the same ribbon that we used on the card just to pull it all together, and that was the, the navy blue checking of ribbon. And I'm just going to attach that and tie it in a little bow. Oh, thank you, guys. Okay. And since we're getting to the end here, this means it is almost time for my um, drawing and I'm giving away the bundle um, that I'm using today. If you aren't a bow person, you could certainly just tie this in a knot if you wanted to. But we've got our little bow, little bow on there. And there we go. Well, actually, you know what? I'm trimming. I'm trimming! These are cute little projects. Again, you can get the free PDF on my blog on how to make these. If you're coming in late, uh, the replay replays are always available immediately following the live broadcast. There's a free PDF. Click on the link in the video's description to get it. And there's also um, a URL or a smart code that'll bring you back to the uh, replay as well and all the details on this card as well as all the supplies I'm using. Okay, who's ready to win something? <laughs> I've got two um, meant to be bundles to give away right now. These are the bundles that uh, I just used. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. <sighs> it's always something, right? Sorry. Bear, bear with me for one minute while I try to get this. <sighs> Stop it. Go away. All right, let's do it this way. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me. All right, you guys. So, wait for it. Wait for it. Where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. <sighs> I might have to, oh, no, I might have to do this after live. I'm sorry. It looks like it's giving me a hard time here. At least we got, at least we got the technology fixed that we could do the, the video. So I am really, really sorry here, but I cannot get this to work. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold you up, but I have two bundles. I will post the winners. I'll comment with the winners after this, and they will also be posted on the stampatami.com blog, which is, um, there's a winner's page and you, you have two weeks to claim your prize. If you're a winner, I promise I will do these right away, right after this video. I, I apologize, but I am glad that if any technology was going to work, I'm glad that we were able to get the video up at least. And um, also, don't forget, it's time now to pop on over to my blog. Take that awesome blo Valentine's Day blog hop tour that is happening. The instructions are on there. You're going to see some amazing projects. And be sure to leave a comment both on my blog and on all the blogs in this um, tour because... We are giving away a kit, a note of kindness kit. This is a full card kit, an amazing kit. And be sure to leave the hashtag stamp it contest. This is a blog hop and a blog entry for this giveaway. My um, my two meant to be's were a video entry. There's different ways to enter diff different contests. Gotta gotta pay attention. <laughs> so anywho, have fun with that. Have a great weekend and uh, fingers crossed. I will be able to get technology all fixed and be back live on both Facebook and YouTube on Tuesday. If not, I'll just be live on Facebook and the replay will be on YouTube until I get that fixed. But hopefully this weekend. All right. Thank you all and have a great weekend. <laughs>